Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. American junior welterweight veteran Zab Judah is something of an enigma in his career travels from 140 pounds up to 147 and then back down to 140. Judah has fallen short in all his biggest assignments, but his great hand speed, boxing talent, and outgoing personality have maintained a bridge to fans that keeps him pointed toward big fights. Here now, Zab Judah's greatest hits. April 2006, following a surprising loss to Carlos Valdemir, Judah met pound-for-pound -pound king Floyd Mayweather. Judah began strong, consistently beating Mayweather to the bunch. There's a good quick left hand inside by Zab Judah. Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no rubber hurt. Crowd is going wild for Judah. He landed a straight left cross flush. As the fight continued, Mayweather's accuracy began to surface, and he consistently landed at will. Mayweather is beginning to hammer Judah with body shots. As Judah grew frustrated, he chose to make it a street fight. Now you tell me what he's doing What's now. That? Judah seems almost to be trying to taunt Mayweather, and he lands a left hand, and now he's talking to Floyd. And he catches him with a little right hook. Big left hand for Judah, his best punch of the round, and he taunts Mayweather one more time before leaving the corner. Mayweather kept his composure and continued measuring the increasingly defensive Judah. Uh, there is blood coming out of the nose and mouth of Judah now. And there'll be more of it after that big right hand, but it's getting increasingly worse for Judah as Mayweather is simply chasing him around the ring and punishing him now. Judah's frustration boiled over in round 10, prompting one of boxing's ugliest scenes in recent years. Oh, and there's a low blow oh, by oh, Judah. Oh, oh, oh. Steele pulls Zab Judah off of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather is badly hurt by the low blow. And now Roger Mayweather wants to come after Zab. And now Leonard Ellerby wants Noel to. And a riot is going to break out in the ring. Once order was restored, Mayweather's dominance continued, and he cruised to the unanimous decision victory. June 2007, Judah took on unbeaten welterweight champion Miguel Cotto in front of a packed house at Madison Square Garden. And in his hometown, Judah got off to a quick start. Zab believes that he hurt Cotto. He's going to go after him right away. And Cotto comes back, crashing with the left hook to the body, but he is hurt. He has definitely been wobbled by that early left hand shot, and Judah's hand speed has made its mark in the fight already. Judah's early momentum was stopped immediately. Now a low blow puts Judah on the canvas. And the way Zab is acting, it was a very effectively heavy low blow. Another low blow. Judah is in agony and would be well advised to take more time to recover this time. A point was deducted from Cotto after the second low blow. And with an increased sense of urgency, Cotto began applying relentless pressure. Left took to the body by Cotto and a combination upstairs. Cotto just swamping Judah with activity. It's the sledgehammer force of the shot. It's the commitment that Cotto makes to his punches. The courageous Judah continued to stand in and fight, but Cotto's nonstop assault eventually wore him down. And he continues to crash away at Judah and gets the blood to flow from Judah's right eye again. Left, left, right, left to the body. Up to the crowd standing as Cotto continues the vicious assault. Judah goes to a knee. Down on a right hand is Judah. He doesn't run anymore, or so it appears. And Arthur McKinney stops the fight. Knockout. November 2008, having lost four of his previous six decisions, Judah began trying to resurrect his career against Ernest Johnson. Judah's unpredictability was on display early, beginning immediately after the second round. No, 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 no. Judah doesn't want to sit down, doesn't seem to want to listen to his dad either. I think he feels he's got control of the fight. Is his disdain for his opponent, or did he not want to hear what his corner had to say? Maybe a combination of both. A pair of third round headbutts opened up two different cuts on Judah, including a particularly deep one over his right eye. Zab has a lot to worry about now. I got two cuts. Yeah, I know. Are they big? No, they're all right. Keep it real. They're all right. Zab persevered, 
effectively using his jab to keep the slower Johnson at bay and picking his spots to attack. Judah is whipping Johnson with both hands in the middle of the ring here in the sixth round. Yeah, he's taking more control over the fight now. His confidence is up. He's putting punches together. He's finally getting his zone now where he's been to land punches, a variety of punches too, not just one punch. The cuts proved not to be an issue as Judah cruised to a unanimous decision victory. November 2010, Judah stepped into the ring with undefeated Lucas Matisse. Judah spent the first half of the fight successfully keeping the hard-punching Matisse at a distance. Now Judah suddenly opens up and throws two good left crosses in a row. And he's showing legitimate and proper respect for Matisse's 25 knockouts, and Zab has not always been that smart. That was real good Zab Judah. There it was again, catch and counter, precision and power. As the fight wore on, Matisse gained confidence, then found an opportunity to pounce. Hard right hand by Matisse. Zab Judah goes down. What a stunning turn of events in round 10. And suddenly the Argentine puncher has made his points. Matisse does not seem bothered by Judah's power. Not at all. And there's a big left hook. At some point, Zab's gonna have to consider holding on. Judah's attempt to regain stardom in the 140 pound weight class, suddenly in a darkened room. In the decisive final round, Judah tried to slow Matisse's sudden momentum. Zab's totally on the defensive. Matisse looks calm and collected. Hard left hand by Judah. His best punch in three rounds. What a battle. Judah survived Matisse's late rally, winning a split decision. To see more of Zab's Super Judah, tune in to HBO Sports.